This hip arthroscopy video demonstrates bone grafting and acetabulum cyst. A shaver is introduced arthroscopically to debride a degenerated and torn hip labrum. The underlying femoral head is visualized in the lower left portion of this video. A blunt probe is used to find a soft area of the bone structure of the anterior acetabulum or socket. A shaver is introduced to clean soft tissue in this area and help open the cystic area. This cyst had been identified with an MRI scan. A curette is introduced into the cystic area of the acetabulum and the yellow material that makes up part of the cyst is easily seen. The soft tissue invasion about the bony area of the acetabulum creates a large cavity where bone remodels away from the cyst and this can be a source of pain in people with early arthritis of their hip and also with hip impingement. The curette is used to remove the cystic material and the shaver also continues to remove any soft tissue remnant in the top of the acetabulum. Once the soft tissue has been removed, the arthroscope can actually be inserted into the cystic cavity showing this large opening where there should be complete filling of bone. This cavity can be bone grafted and the body will then heal in a new layer of bone. This is a slotted metal cannula full of bone graft chips that is placed to the opening of the cyst and a plunger is being impacted pushing the bone graft into the cyst. The bone graft becomes compressed in the cystic area and then it can be again pushed in further and compressed impacting the graft. About half of the cyst is filled at this point and another tube of bone graft will be required to fill this cyst completely. The second tube is brought in and again the slotted portion of the cannula allows visualization of the bone graft as it is being tapped into and compressing into the cystic cavity. Any fragmentation or loose bone in this area can be scooped up and pressed into the cavity opening of the cyst with a blunt white tipped instrument and these bony fragments are the final completion of the grafting of the acetabulum cyst. After this bone graft is compressed with further impaction it becomes very stable and this is the final appearance of the stable compacted grafting of the acetabulum cyst. And this is one way of treating early hip arthritis that has developed or caused a large acetabulum cyst.